Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing very well. Today we'll be taking the GBU-8 TV guided 2,000 pound bomb out to the bombing range with us. The F-4 can carry four GBU-8s, one on stations 1, stations 2, station 8, and station 9. Today for our practice run at the bombing range I will only be taking two because trust me with these bombs you only need one. First let's review our controls. The only controls we need for the GBU-8 are the trigger to lock on to a target and the bomb button to release the bomb. Setup for the GBU-8 is relatively easy. Go to the weapon armament panel, change our fusing to nose tail, select the pylons we intend to use, change to direct, change the weapon select to TV, and then down here change our radar screen to TV mode. The image seen by the GBU-8 will be displayed on the radar screen. Change the sighting system to air to ground and select 17 mils as specified in the Heatler manual for the GBU-8. That was our quick review, so let's get this show on the road. Now as we approach the bombing range, it's a good time to fence in. Nose tail, weapon stations, armed, TV, direct, change our radar, air to ground, change the reticle. Now is a good time to talk about the symbology shown on the display. The center of the crosshairs is the area where it will attempt to get a contrast lock. On this bombing mission, I am going to attempt to get a contrast lock on this building. I will maneuver this box over the building and then squeeze and hold the trigger until I get a satisfactory contrast lock on the building. Once that occurs, I will then maintain my course and adjust slightly until I'm ready to release the bomb. Our target is visible here, and in here we can see that the GBU-8's camera is still focused on the target. However, the bore sight of the aircraft is now pointed above the target. Because of that, this new piece of symbology is showing that the camera in the GBU-8 is pointed down and slightly to the right. This matches the actual sight picture we have here. The camera, which would normally be focused here, is focused down and slightly to the right to hold the target. Once I'm ready to release, I will press and hold the bomb button until the GBU-8 is released, which will be apparent from the dramatic impact it has on the balance of the aircraft as well as loss of this camera picture. Now I will attempt to lock one of the small targets to see how well the bomb system is able to guide on smaller vehicle-sized targets. <laughs> 